On our previous videos on how to build a website, we have purchased a domain and hosting from GoDaddy, installed it, installed our WordPress, and we have begun to change the colors of our WordPress. In this video, we are going to remove this footer text, or at least show you how to alter this footer text. Uh, this proudly powered by WordPress is um, a lot of people don't like that for whatever reason. So I'm going to show you how to change it and how to customize any of this. So the first thing we're going to want to do is log into our website. Putting our website name in forward slash WP dash admin. Okay, come down here to appearance and theme editor. And at some point it will give you a warning that you are going to break your website or something like that. Um, it's possible, but if you follow these easy steps, you'll have no problem. Just come over here and click on Theme Footer. So before we go any further, I want to show you real quick. Um, click in here, hit Control A to highlight everything. Control C to copy everything and then come over and open up a notepad and just paste it all in there and you don't even really have to save it just leave the notepad open so that if you need to replace all of your code just hit control A control C and copy it in and hit update file and that will bring it right back to where you begun so before you do anything else stop and do that and here is the file that serves up your theme footer all of this okay so scroll down see where it says footer credits now I'll hear footer copyright if you scroll down a little bit see copyright date format blog info name so that is the name right here how to do it pro and then here is the powered by WordPress right here so if you just want to remove the powered by WordPress uh, just from here to here delete that and then click update file and you can see that removes the WordPress that's not what I want to do so I'm going to come back in here click in my box hit control Z to bring to undo my last action and I'm going to update file so now we know how to remove the powered by WordPress let's take a look at a couple of other things we can do here right now if you click on this link it takes you back to your home page so let's say that you would like to change this link to go somewhere else when you click on it it's very easy to do we are looking for this little piece of text right here where it says ahref equals and then we have these quotation marks that one In that one so between these quotation marks is where your link is you can then delete this and put whatever link you would like to in there and hit update file now when we click on this link it'll take us to YouTube and you don't have to use the PHP code to put it to your website it's easy enough just to put the link of the URL that you want there 
and um, make sure it has the quotation marks. I just deleted the quotations and hit update file and refresh the page and now it just takes us back to our home page. Okay, so something else I'd like to do here is I want to add right here that. Now I don't want my website to link back to um, WordPress so I'm going to delete this link right here and update file. Alright here's one more thing I'd like to show you how to do. Come over here to plugins. Click plugins to add new and then search font also do only this one font awesome not some of these other ones this is the official one click install now and click activate okay so now come over here and navigate to the website font awesome let's find an icon. So I want a little coffee cup, a little steaming coffee cup. Here we go. Click on it. Copy this little bit of text right here. Click copy. Now let's go back to our editor, appearance theme editor, go back to our footer, scroll down to where we were, right here where it says and coffee, and paste that little piece of text we uh, just put in there. This is some extra text we picked up um, for copying off of there website and one more thing we want to put here it's a little piece of code this means to put a space because uh, a lot of times they don't recognize just a regular space in um, coding language so you have to put that little thing so that adds space between the coffee and the text um, if you notice this still kind of lights up whenever you scroll over it like there's still a link uh, But if you click on it, it won't do anything because we've removed the link to remove the entire text uh, Link thing there Just delete that And update file And now uh, we'll refresh the page and you see now it's just text. It doesn't light up like a link. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and learned a little something. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And uh, check out my other videos. See you next time.